Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna talk about my best and most favorite skincare of 2019. If you wanna know what products are out there that's gonna give you great, amazing skin, then keep on watching. Between my FabFitFun box and um, the Advent box that I purchased at Macy's, um, I've been able to really zone in on some brands that really work for my skin. To start off, I have oily combination skin. I also have acne prone skin. So I'm just gonna break it down to cleansers, acne medications, moisturizers. I'll break them down by groups and go from there. The first category is cleanser. So I have a few favorites and I've tried quite a few. Um, the first cleanser that I love is from Tula. You can get this at Ulta. It's a probiotic gel-based cleanser, and I love how it feels on my skin. It's great at removing makeup. After using it, it just feels like my skin is supple, more plump. I feel like there's something in this probiotic ingredient that really does wonders for my skin. I'll make sure to put the pricing and the description of each of the items that I mentioned in my description box below, so check those out. Out. This is something that I got in my FabFitFun box and I'll definitely be repurchasing it again. I'm so glad that you can get this at Ulta, guys. Ulta has great rewards, points, cash back, so go get your cleanser there. The next item that I like is this face cleanser from First Aid Beauty. So I've been using this, my son has been using this. I would say it is not like as deep cleansing as the Tula one. I think it's for those no makeup makeup days or when you just have no makeup on all day and you just wanna cleanse your skin at the end of the day. This would be great for someone who has sensitive skin. It's a very gentle cleanser. It has aloe and glycerin, and glycerin is a great moisturizing, hydrating ingredient, so love that about it. It claims to relieve redness, so maybe if you have rosacea or any kind of sensitive skin, this would really help. But as far as cleansing goes, especially if you have a full face of makeup, I think I would go with Tula. If you're that type of person who doesn't wear a lot of makeup, First Aid Beauty is the way to go. A lot of these items are wet because I was pulling them out of my shower, out of my bathroom, so they've been really put to good use this year. The last one is this Green Tea Spinach and Vitamins by Youth to the People. So I hope you guys can see that. It's a great size. I got a two fluid ounce face wash and it lasted me quite a while. I love how it feels. It makes you feel like squeaky clean skin, like <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> when I use this, I would say it's not as hydrating as let's say my purity cleanser because that's like my tried and true cleanser. And so when I looked up the ingredients, it turns out this is really meant for those who have super oily skin. So if you produce a lot of oils, and I do too, but lately, you know, with keeping up with skincare, I've been able to balance my oils a lot better. But this one is definitely great for oiliness, for acne prone skin. It says here, superfood cleanser. Um, it smells like green juice, guys. So it is a green juice in a bottle for your face. I think this would be great as a summer cleanser and your skin is producing a lot of oils, this would be great to use. Toner. So my favorite toner is the Neutrogena toner, but I decided to try this Facial Toner Witch Hazel Aloe Vera by Thayer's. Like I've had this for a good six months, I would say. And it smells like cucumber. It has a cucumber scent, so it feels very fresh. It smells really fresh. Great inexpensive toner. I like to use more inexpensive toners, cleansers. It's easy to switch from one cleanser to another or toners because they have very basic not very basic ingredients, but it's not as complicated as, uh, let's say, skincare, serums, and you know, acne medications. And I love to apply this before I put on my acne medication, right after cleansing. Next category is mask, and I've had a few favorites. Let's start with this Americano face mask from Face Story. 
It's a three-step face mask. I did a review of masks from facestory.com that are great for oily skin. And this was one of them that was in the box. First, you apply this in your T-zone, and then you have honey to ultra moisturize outside of your face. And last step is to put on this mask right here. I love the feeling that it gave me when I put this on. Um, and of course you have honey and honey has a lot of healing ingredients. Really made my skin relaxed and moisturized. I am a Face Story affiliate, so I do have an affiliate link in the description box below in case you are interested. I was so happy by the way that I finally got approved because last year I didn't get approved, but towards the end of the year, I got a letter saying that I was a face story ambassador and so glad that i got to become one because i do stand by face story products i'm not saying that every single mask is going to be great for you and it's going to work for you everyone has different skin types you need to understand what your face needs and then find the mask that's gonna work and that's gonna you know give you what you need to get better skin face story is a subscription box but you can also buy individual korean masks from their website and so just use my link if you are interested on trying this americano mask i had this in my giveaway in my christmas giveaway and also i still have it in my stash i've been giving it to relatives because this is one of the ones that i feel like it's gonna work for a lot of different types of people with different types of skin and i love that it's three step i feel like you're getting more for your money when it has three steps it's not just applying the mask but you have you know your serums first and then you put on the mask to really intensify um the whole experience so love that it's this generation clay brightening purple mask okay i've reviewed this mask on my instagram channel love 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 this mask and it looks great because you look like a um purple goddess <laughs> you'll find that i don't use a lot of like clay mask and this is one of those and i don't use them because i feel like it makes my face feel tight i don't like that they harden i don't like that it takes a while for them to come off but this one is so easy to apply it it goes onto your skin glides on nicely and when you wash it off it's so easy to wash off it doesn't make my skin feel super dry super tight you know and so i love this mask and it's definitely what it says it is it's brightening but also makes my face feel supple and plump got this mask in my fat fit fun box but it's also available at amazon.com for purchase in case you're interested so go check this out if you are in the market for buying a mask it's great it's cruelty free it's great for refining brightening and illuminating it's a great product that i've used in 2019 as far as mask goes i just want to give honorable mention to the karuna face mask my favorite i would say is the antioxidant face mask that is one of the best from karuna you can find the karuna face mask on amazon.com i got mine in my fat fit fun box well worth it i love trying new moisturizers and every chance i get i don't mind switching from one moisturizer to another especially the nighttime moisturizers my most favorite moisturizers at the moment is the Caudalie vinosaurus cream sorbet moisturizer i'm still hoping that maybe i could get this in my fabfitfun box or maybe in my boxycharm box and finally get a full size this is a clean product from sephora by the way that means that it's made with only good ingredients no harmful ingredients for the skin and so that's what i love about it it soothes it hydrates and it's full of antioxidants so antioxidants are good for any type of inflammations that you have on your skin which means if you have acne on your skin it um, relieves that inflammation the antioxidant helps you repair those damaged skin it's one of those moisturizers that I feel like it's doing something. I would say this is a light moisturizer. It's great under makeup. Next moisturizer that I have is by Kate Somerville. It's an expensive moisturizer. It's about $65. This is a heavier uh, form of moisturizer. Can't really tell, but it's very liquidy and watery. <gasps> So as you can tell, it's a very liquidy ingredient and um, 
I lost a whole lot of it. <laughs> okay, so you would think that it's a lightweight moisturizer, but it's not. This is really a moisturizer for intense hydration. So even though I have oily skin, I feel like in the winter time, it can still get really, really dry. And so this really helped with the hydration that I needed. So once you put it on your skin, it kind of thickens and turns more into like a cream moisturizer. It could feel a little thick and heavy if you apply makeup on top. This is great for people with dry skin, um, but also it still works for me, especially as a nighttime treatment when you want to have a lot of hydration on your face. And this still works for both oily and dry skin. So highly recommend it. It is a more expensive brand, but well worth it. You gotta have serums in your skincare. There's two that I recommend that I've used from last year, Kypris and um, you can get Kypris at Nordstrom. It's a antioxidant dew serum. There's something about this that when I have problematic skin, when I start getting pimples, I put this on at night and the next day, the pimple gets smaller. I just feel like I wake up with better skin when I use this. I'm glad that I got this in my BoxyCharm box. It's one of those more expensive serums. It's $90, guys. If you have the budget for it, I highly recommend it. It's a lighter form of a serum. You can use this under makeup. It's not gonna make you feel oily or greasy. Even though it says do, don't be afraid if you have oily skin. Just more than the hydration part, I feel like that antioxidant ingredient really kicks in and does something for the face that keeps me from having acne. So highly recommend this product. The next item I'm all out of and you know, I try to go from one serum at a time. That way I can really test and see how it feels on my skin. But also serums are expensive. They're one of those products in your skincare routine that you really have to invest on sometimes if you want great skin, especially when, if you're like myself who has problematic skin. But the TLC Framboose Glycolic Resurfacing Night Serum from Drunk Elephant have really helped me achieve better looking skin. It has AHA, BHA ingredients, and basically what they do is they refine and resurface the skin. Kind of you know, sheds away that outer layer of the skin, giving you that healthier skin underneath. If you've had acne prone skin like myself and you've had cystic acne, they take a long while to disappear. When I use that product from Drunk Elephant, it clears my cystic acne a lot faster. It's an expensive skincare product, but I highly recommend it and I stand by it. Aside from serums, I also have acne medicine. Let's start with Dr. Brandt. If you have acne prone skin, you want an exfoliator. I feel like exfoliators are the key ingredient to removing my cystic acne. Dr. Brandt's microdermabrasion is definitely one of the best exfoliators. It's worked for me and my son. It has those rough beads though. If you have sensitive skin, um, this might not work for you, but it has done wonders for my skin, for my son's skin, so highly recommend it. Next acne medication that I use is this La Roche-Posay Effaclair Duo. I get this at Ulta. This is like my second or third bottle because I share it with my son. What I love about this, first of all, is that it lasts forever. It has 5.5 benzoyl peroxide, and benzoyl peroxide is the ingredient that I look for when I have cystic acne. I feel like this ingredient works better than salicylic acid, and so love that about it. So that is all of my skincare favorites, guys, for year 2019. They have done wonders for my skin. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week and there's always something to learn here on my channel. So please come back and check it out. That's it for this video and I hope to see you guys back in my corner soon. Bye!